Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about single or dual homed and single or dual multi home designs. So we can discuss about this concept because we are using BGP protocol. So in BGP protocol, what are the design terminologies we are using? So let's we can discuss in this video session. So when talking about ISPs, BGP, connections, sometimes you will hear terminologies like single home, dual home, single multi home, dual multi home. So these all different designs topologies where we describe how the customer is connected to the ISP using BGP protocol. So one or more ISPs using BGP protocol. So this session we are discuss about this different design terminologies. Let's we can see. So first one is a single home. Single home means the customer will connect it to the ISP. So it's a single point of connection. See, customer connected to the single ISP with a single cable. So that is a single home. So here the advantage is cost effective and disadvantage is there is no redundancy. So if this links goes down, the customer completely lost the internet connection. So this is the drawback. So here we can see. So the single mode design means you have single connection to the single ISP and advantage is cost effective and disadvantage is there is no redundancy. And here we don't use any BGP protocol because there is only one exit port. So the default route, the static route is more than enough for this scenario. Okay, next to one dual home. So the dual home means we can use redundant link to the ISP. So there is slight variation in the design when compared to the previous scenario. So in previous scenario, there is a single cable here, dual cable. So that is the redundancy. So that is the difference and here that is the redundancy purpose we can use dual cable and still customer is using single ISP. So in case the customer router goes down, the customer completely lost the connection. Otherwise, if that ISP router goes down, we completely lost the internet connection. Okay, so in du dual home connection, add some redundancy, only add some redundancy. You are still only connected to a single ISP, but you use two links instead of one. So when compared to first scenario and second scenario, we are using same single ISP. The only difference is we can use a redundant link. So that's why dual home. So next to one in dual home for this is a different scenario. So here for redundancy purpose in ISP side, they add one more router. So from customer can connect it to the single ISP with different router in ISP side. So here we can see dual home different design. So if this links goes down, we can get connection from this link. Otherwise, if this ISP router will go down also, we can get connection from this router. So again, the drawback is in customer point of view, we can use only one router and single point of failure. So if this links goes down, we can use through this link. But this router goes down, then we can completely lose the internet connection. So for that reason, so for relevant purpose, we can add one more router in the customer side. So this is an another design. So in customer end, we will use two separate routers and ISP side also, we can use two separate routers and it's connected point to point. So in case in customer end, this router goes down also, we can use internet connection from this link. So in ISP also, if any one router goes down also, we will get from connection from another router. So this one also dual home. So these are the different design, different designs for dual home. So again, here only one drawback is still we are using only one ISP. We are not using more than one ISP. So next to one single multi home. So the term multi home means we are connected to the ISP, at least two different ISP. So this is the first design topology. So in customer side, 
I am connected connecting towards two different ISP. So this is a single multi home. Multi home means we have to connect it more than two ISPs. That's why multi home meaning. So here this link goes down. We can use get service from the ISP two. So again the another drawback is in customer point of view there is a single point of failure. If this router goes down, we cannot able to access both ISP one and ISP two. So in single multi home, we can add one more router in the customer side. So with the two different ISP. So one ISP we can use one separate router in customer end, and another ISP we can use separate router in customer side. So if this links goes down also, we can use this ISP too. In case the router goes down from customer end or ISP side also, we can use another connection from the another ISP. So this is good. So next to one dual multi home. So for this design, we can use two different ISP with redundant link. So here we can see in customer side, we can use only one router and it's connected to the two different ISP with redundant link. So ISP one, we have two redundant link and ISP two also we can two redundant link. That is more redundancy. So in ISP one, if one link goes down also through another link, we can access the service same like ISP two also. So again, the same problem is in customer point of view, there is single point of failure. If this router goes down completely, we can lose the connection from ISP one and ISP two. So we can add one more router in the customer side. So dual multi home. So this is a very good design. So here we can see we can use two separate router in customer side, and each router have redundant link connected to the ISP one as well as ISP two. So if these links goes down also, we can access the ISP one through another link. Same like ISP two also. So the only drawback is. If this router goes down, any one router in customer side goes down, we can completely lose that ISP connection. For example, this router goes down, we can completely lose the connection from ISP one. So for that reason, we can use this scenario. So this is very good scenario, but more effective, cost effective. So here we can see. I can use two router in enterprise customer side. And I have two different ISP connection. So in first router, I have to connect it to ISP one as well as ISP two. In second router, again I will connect it to ISP one as well as ISP two. So now this router goes down. Also, I can able to access the service from ISP one as well as ISP two from this router. If this router goes down, also parallelly i can able to access isp1 as well as isp2 from this router so this is very good design okay so in this video session so what we can learn means different bgp connection options to the isp so if it's single home means we can use single isp with single cable So you connected single ISP using single link. If it's dual home means you can connect it single ISP using dual cable. So if you are using single multi home means you are connected two ISP using single cable. If it's dual multi home means you can connect two different ISP with redundant link. so these are the terms so you should more familiar on these terms because in working environment if the customer saying i am using dual multi home design means you have to imagine they are using two different isp with redundant link in case if they are saying single multi home means they are using two isp with single cable connection so likewise you should know these terms and uh, the design also it will be very helpful Okay friends thank you for watching my video so if you have any queries in the comment section please ask your question definitely i will reply to your query thank you friends thank you for watching my videos